Hey everybody, Jake Raby here, Air Cool Technology. Just wanted to bring you up to speed with what's going on here in our world. So, I'm uh, doing another Type 4 build this week. Um, this one actually has now been built to the short block. And this one belongs to Dean, and he has a 79 Beetle, Super Beetle convertible. And uh, he's building a car a lot like my wife's car, the Massive 79 Vert. I can go show you guys that car here in another video a little bit later on this afternoon because we just restored function to that engine after it being off the road for a while. So uh, long story short, this is a 2320. Um, it's a stock stroke by uh, 102 millimeter bore size. It does use Ellen Engineering Nikki cylinders. Those cylinders are currently upstairs, both in the freezer and the oven. I've got uh, two cylinders in the freezer, two cylinders in the oven, and we're doing all of our checks on the um, ring gaps. That's how I do my ring gap setting, is I actually keep in mind that this engine is gonna get hot and cold. So these are Ellen Engineering designed JE pistons. As you can see, they have a mirror image of the combustion chamber, the two liter combustion chamber here. Uh, to make that a little bit easier to see, I'll put it in front of one of the LE200 cylinder heads this engine's going to use so you can kind of see that's the mirror image. So this one will set up at about nine and a half to one compression ratio. Uh, that's typically what I use for this combination. These LE200 heads, of course, based on new castings, um, you know, we've got the Crower heavy duty springs that have been isotropically super finished uh, for that nice look. That's not just for looks, but that actually has a purpose. Um, is for longevity purposes and, and keeping the valve spring from breaking due to having some stress risers. So that removes all of that. Uh, nice port work. Of course, we've got the uh, thermal dispersant coating on the outside of the head. We've got a thermal barrier coating in the combustion chamber uh, and on the back of the valves. These coatings work exceptionally well. All of my engines have been getting this stuff for years. This particular engine also has thermal dispersant coating on the outside of the crankcase. This is not, I repeat, this is not paint. This is a thermal dispersant coating. It makes a significant difference in thermal conductivity, and it also makes a significant difference in how long the engine takes to cool down after you've been driving it. So uh, thermal load and overloading of, of the engine is certainly reduced with this. Um, Kind of roll it over a little bit more here and show you the bottom side of it. And uh, this will be probably in the 190 horsepower range for this particular engine. Um, it gets a set of Delorto 45 carburetors. And um, today that's the only thing that I've been running for carbs on engines that, that don't get programmable EFI. We run Dells. We've been running them for years with, with great luck. So um, Step out here now, and I want to show you the massive 79 Vert, which uh, my daughter just finished putting an engine together for this car. So I want to open the door here. So it's a little easier to show you guys the engine, but this is a car my wife and I built together back in 2008. And you'll have to excuse all the pollen all over everything here in Georgia. It's quite the mess right now with pollen. Uh, but this engine was built by a nine year old. And actually when she built it, she was eight. Um, so I just got this installed last week. It's just basically a, a warmed over stock two liter. Um, <clears throat> it has air conditioning, as you can see, the Bluetooth one, two, three distributor. Um, it's got our billet air filter tops. It's got the Lordo's sync link, uh, got our billet backing plate for the alternator there. And it has a very rare one of one aluminized fiberglass DTM. There's only one of these in existence and I've saved it for this car. So uh, it runs like a champ. You'd never know that a nine-year-old built it. <laughs> so uh, she did a good good job on it, and she's enjoyed being able to go for a ride in the car. So I just wanted to show you guys kind of what was going on. You'll learn more about this engine that Ava built in the next few months. Uh, I've actually shared pictures of her putting it together, and hopefully those, in, those pictures will inspire each of you to take your child and get them out in the garage and help them learn things because they don't learn anything from a video game, and they don't learn anything from successes. We only learn from failures. Ava worked through quite a few failures as she built this engine, but at the end of the day, she walked away having great pride in her accomplishment. Have a great week.